Well, good morning. Well, it's nearly afternoon. I'm just trying to find a view of the viaduct that I'm trying to do a film of today, but I don't think I can be able to see it from here, no. So anyway, yes, um, a couple of weeks ago, I went and we went to the uh, viaduct at Holsworthy over the River Deer, and uh, you can walk along it. And uh, it was a disaster. The weather was horrible. Uh, people kept on coming up and round this. I was with people on the shots. And but the worst thing that really spoiled it was that it was a chainsaw. Somebody was cutting down a tree, and all you could hear is me the whole time. So we're going to drive on a little bit further, see if I can get a view. See if we can get a view of it. Right. It's over there. Can you see it? Just the. Uh, It's not a very good view, but I'm gonna see if I can get a better view. But it's there. So I'm gonna stand up. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Just over there. That's where we're going, but uh, too many trees. We had a, let's just let's come down here, see if we can get a better view. It's right through that gap of that tree there. There it is. <laughs> That's the best view I can get of it, I think. But there's the viaduct that we're going to be walking over in a minute. Right, I'm a bit closer now, but I still can't get a good shot of it. So I'm going to go through this field and see if I can find a better angle. Hmm, still really can't get an angle. It is there, but that's not really very good, is it? I'm gonna get down, down there a little bit. Let's just go up here, get close up. There's a bit of a view. Um, can I get? Oh, what's this bloody sting? Is a bloody. Oh, uh, right. Let's just see if I can get some of down here. Oh, right. Is this a better shot? And the answer is no. <laughs> oh, so annoying. <clears throat> so close to getting a good shot. Right, I'm going to go down here. I've stung myself to smithereens already, so it doesn't really matter. Right, i will come down this bank. Ah, oh, that's better. That's a better view. Stingers everywhere, man. Bloody things. Shorts, no socks. Ouch. That's better. Ouch. Bloody hell. That's better. Right, here we go. Get these brambles down here and these stingers out of the way. That's even better view. Ouch. Right, that's better. Tinder's gonna be happy in a minute because she hasn't been able to see me for a while and uh, she just gets scared. <laughs> she gets worried for my safety. Um, ouch. These bloody stingers. Ouch. Ouch. Right. Uh, there she is. Right. 
So, yes, it was worth it. We got some shots. Not as good as I like, but a lot better than the first go at it. But I have stung myself to some veins. Getting it. Oh well. All in a day's work, eh? So there's a. You sort of saw a glimpse of it while I was filming uh, just now. And now we're going to go over the railway viaduct. It's sort of just at the right on the edge of Holsworthy. And we're going to uh, have a. Now, funny enough, <laughs> last time we came here, this was a right mess. In fact, I shall put a very quick snippet of it on now. now it's not a uh, Christmas pudding. We're actually going, we're in Holesworthy, and we're going to the undergrowth now. As you can see, this is a lot better. I got around and did some work on it, it needed it. It was right overgrown. So yeah, so here we have, it's a cycle route to Bude, but this was a railway track to, to Bude from Holsworthy. And it, uh, you've got the date there, 1898, I can't quite see it unfortunately, but there's a date on the, on the bridge. 1898. There you go, see so it goes down there. Oh, yes. And, uh, so there it is. And then on the, on the other side, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Of course, it goes over the River D, Deer, sorry. Uh, tiny little stream, really. Um, so, around we go. Probably about the traffic, they're just coming up the, the, the road. It's a, it's, a, it's a lane, a tiny little lane. Been half busy. So, yes, here we go. A little view down the side there. Onto the actual uh, the viaduct. And I said, the nice thing is, we haven't got any chainsaw whizzing away. Like So this can get be put on, and the, the weather's. I think it's better. I would say it's better. Let's have a look over the side here. I'm just putting my new strap on. It's a nice strap. That means I can't drop it. Oh yes, there's a river D down there somewhere. There it is. There'll be a deer. Get it right, David. Get it right. I'm going to try to take a shot from over there. That's what I'll find, because that will make a good shot. That's what I need to do, T. Is there, uh, find this, go down on this estate, and there's a fantastic shot from there, wasn't it? Would you agree? Yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go over there later find the way over it and then we can uh, stop there and take some real better shots so the shots oh look that's clever um the actual the shots i just took there to get stung <laughs> it was kind of pointless i think because i had a much better view the other way hey, look there what's that looks like a like flags of a, of a mountain, but I think they're just trees. I'm not seeing them. So yes, I can't remember exactly. It was Mr. Peachum that got rid of it. I think it was in the mid eight, mid sixties when the train went from Bude. Um, what difference that would have made to our business? and probably our rent as well. If you look at all the, the Cornish towns that have still got a link 
to the chain. They're the ones that have all done particularly well. There's Lou, there's uh, Falmouth, there's uh, Nuki, St. Ives. They've all kept a stronger presence. Uh, there you go. It's a little bit of wind, but it's certainly nice not to have the uh, the chainsaw going. So it's this this track carries on for about a mile, two miles, then it joins a, a country lane. So you can't go all the way to Budon along this path. I think it heads down towards uh, Bidrul. Somebody coming down here. Yeah. Sorry? Dog yeah, dog poo bags. Nathan on the side there. Hey, naughty. So we're going to uh, come across the bridge, the bridge, the viaduct, and just listen to the birds. It's coming, it's coming in the distance there, but let's just do a bird silence now. Right, I think we'll get to head back across before this lady comes along with her dog so we can get a shot, a clear shot of nobody other than the bridge. Bridge, the viaduct. So yes, we did actually uh, look at another little adventure when we was here last and we found what I thought was going to be a, a very well marked out path uh, up to the uh, town. And if we'd always walk from there, from here, and then we walked along it, and it just, just died, just came to a dead stop. Just overgrown hedge in front, at the end of it. That was a bit odd. But yes, I like Holsworthy. It's a place where there's, it's small enough, it's it, it, nothing like Beaudley, but it does remind me of that sort of feeling. I think if we ever did uh, move from Bude, I wouldn't move too far. Might be into Holdworthy. Yes, nice open fields and views. There is an actually another viaduct on the other side of Holsworthy, but that's uh, that's all been um, fenced off, and I think it's in quite a bad state. But of course, it used to run the train track would have carried on straight through there, straight through the White Roses. There's train station road. I think that's where the stations were, and there was a lot of uh, holding. And yeah, it must have uh, affected uh, Holsworthy as well when the trains went. You know, and you think this happened only four years before I was born. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We've been able to do it with a slightly better weather and certainly better sound because we haven't got the, the, the dreaded chainsaws. But we are going to walk up the hill now a little bit and then hopefully I can go because I think there's a path that leads us to uh, where we can get that other good view of, of the, the viaduct. And there's a, obviously there would be a bridge here. And they carried along there. But uh, we'll have a little walk up this way, just to see so, if we yeah, can so see. So along this little path, I'm hoping for glimpses of the actual uh, thing. But uh, yes, we're nice to explore. I haven't been along this path before. I've done the viaduct many a time. But uh, 
And up here, as I said, I'm hoping that we'll get some good glimpses of it. We shall see. So it looks like we're just coming into the estate, and we should uh, take a, a left here. And it should get us nicely down to some spectacular views. Hello, buddy. Of the, uh, the viaduct. Yes, yeah, just down here, I think. So let's have a little walk down a little bit further, just see if I can get a bit of angle. I don't know if there's a path down there or not. I don't know. I'll just along this uh, rather porny, wet. I know he's not as good as what we got from the other side, but anyway, I would have been a bit annoyed if I hadn't tried. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There we have. Get across here without falling over. There we have the uh, the viaduct. That is a oh, that's a uh, a cycle route. W. Oh. Uh, and uh, I hope you're enjoying it. It was life changing in every way possible. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh, so mighty dad. So there he is. Yes. We've seen both sides of the viaduct. Some sides better than the others. I was hoping we'd able to get underneath it, but I can't see any path down to it. Uh, you could probably scramble down, but I've done the scrambling today and I've got my feet stank. So. There it is. A little look at the viaduct that it makes a cycle route to Bude from Holsworthy. So I am waffling now. Nice time to say goodbye.